Okay. Um, I was doing a reading for someone in my class. Um, we've been given homework to, um, to pull a card for each other every day or, you know, whenever we can. And today I used the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. And I pulled Rhiannon in for her. And, um, I haven't really looked through this deck much. I'm really just now getting into tarot and oracle. And, um, so I'm just kind of going through my decks and getting familiar with them. And I figured I might bring y'all along. For the ride. So that's Rhiannon. And I pulled a few that I thought were um, um, just to read the book. Uh, first of all, it's got a nice box, it's got a nice hard box. The ones that are like playing cards. The boxes that are like playing cards, I don't like those. And I make, um, I make covers for them. This is my Green Witch Tarot deck, and I might get into that some other time. But I knitted this, and, um, so this tie, is this just wraps around, and I put a quartz point underneath it. But this one has a nice box, so I'm just going to keep this in the box. And it's got a, it's got a good book, um, good companion book. These are two I pulled just to read the description, because I'm not going to read the description of every card. But I did want to show y'all some of the artwork and what the cards look like. So it's just got a crown and some... Some knots and some jewels and stuff. And then if you just wanted to quickly pull one, um, it has the, the goddess. Just a quick um, thing to do, like focus your intention. And it's got a, a saying at the bottom. So keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. Which, that's Diana the Huntress. So anyway, I'll quickly go through these, and then, um, I'll, I'll read the description of the two I pulled. But, I like how these, that's one thing I did want to say, I like how these go through, um, through many different, um, Um, religions or like some are Greek, some are um, some are Egyptian. This one's African. So, and some and some are Christian, like this one's Mother Mary, and that's Baby Jesus. And some are Celtic. Um, like this one's Egyptian. This one's Celtic. And this also goes along with, um, the Wicca traditions and the pagan traditions of the, um, the Sabbaths. And, so anyway. Like this is Greek. I love that owl right there. That's pretty. And there are some Indian ones in here too, like the Kishmi or Lakshmi. I'm sorry, I'm country, and I don't know how to uh, pronounce everything correctly. Like Kali. 
this one always reminds me of um, Indiana Jones <laughs> and the Temple of Doom and they're going Kalima, Kalima. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> like Artemis is Greek. This would be, um, I guess, Mayan. This is Egyptian. That's pretty. Vesta, I think, is Greek. I think. And the White Terra. Is Buddhist, I think. So they go over different religions and different um, different countries. Oop, she got her boobies out. Um, I guess this one is uh, Hawaiian. So I like that. I like that part that the, it's um, it covers a lot of different areas. Oh, and the Queen Guinevere. So that's cool. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So it does have some queens and stuff. So that's cool. Here's another Christian one, Mary Magdalene. And here's, um, we just celebrated Ostara. So it's cool that they have some Wicca ones in there too, or Pagan. And then I like this one, Pele. Some of them do have their boobs out. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. I mean, that's, you know, par, par for the course, I guess. Like that kitty cat. This one, I think, is Norse. Freya. And Green Terra. And this one always reminds me of um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Cordelia. Alright, I'm going to read the book. and I might just read one. This one is Cornean. The book says, release judgments about yourself and others. Focus on love and light that is within everyone. Kuan Yin is um, a little bit about her. Is she supposed to be the female Jesus or the female Buddha? Which, um, either, you know, either or, it doesn't matter. Anyway, message from Kuan Yin. Gentleness is the strength behind true power. And it comes from feeding yourself with nourishing words, thoughts, deeds, intentions, and all forms of food. Shield yourself from harshness by placing an intention to attract only kind and gentle life lessons in relationships. Transform harshness into gentleness by refusing to see anything but the shining light that's within each person and situation. 
This intention begins with your relationship with yourself. Be very gentle with yourself in all ways. Be happy, be kind, be sweet, but most of all, be true to you. And then it has various meanings of this card. Release guilt and shame to heaven for healing and transmutation. It goes on. Keep your thoughts about yourself and others positive. Avoid gossip or bad-mouthing of yourself or others. Forgive yourself or, or another. Don't be so hard on yourself or others. Release uh, perfectionist tendencies. And then it and then it gives a little um, description of the goddess. So about Kuan Yin. The eastern goddess Kuan Yin hears the prayers and is essence it is the essence of purity, nurturing love and gentle power. Kuan Yin is a I'm sorry. Um Bodhi Sattva, and I'll have to spell that, um, B-O-D-H-I-S-A-T-T-V-A, meaning that she's eligible for Buddhahood, yet she has vowed to stay near earth until all beings are enlightened. This youthful goddess helps us feel compassion and mercy toward ourselves and others. She also a protectress of women and children as she awakens musical interest and abilities as well as psychic clairvoyance. And the saying that I heard about her was that she went to heaven, or she was on her way to heaven, and heard the cries of the people on earth as she came back. So, I really, I really, really love her. And she's always depicted with a lotus flower or sitting on a lotus flower. And like I said, this is a, has a nice box. Um, the laminate is is not too um, is not too thick. The cards are a little bendy, but but good. And they, um, another thing is they have these, um, on the sides of them are gold, which I, I really like that little touch. I thought that was cool. Mm, excuse me. Um, anyway, so, on that note, that was the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. And, um, as always, if you have any questions or comments or... Uh, constructive criticisms, let me know. Thanks. Blessed be. Bye.